With less than two months until the 2021 Keeneland September sale, horsemen and women around the globe are making plans for their trip to Lexington. For many, it will be the first time in two years. While all are hoping to uncover the next future star at Keeneland, some will be taking time to explore Lexington's thriving culinary scene. We stopped by a few of the city's newest must visits, starting off downtown at the Horse and Jockey Pub, an Irish gastro pub that opened last year and quickly became a staple for the horse racing community. We lived in New York for so many years, like 20 plus years, and we came here to look at a place on Main Street. This place had just closed, there was paper on the window. I looked in and I says, wow, this is a nice, this could make a nice speakeasy type place, you know? Within a month, we actually moved here. You know, and we started renovations. And we figured there's a couple of Irish bars downtown, but there's none of them do any food. And that was our niche. We figured we'll do what we know. And that was something like a traditional Irish menu. Fish and chips, bangers and mash, and Irish curry fries are some of the most popular items on the menu. Murphy's wife also makes homemade shepherd's pie fresh daily. Upstairs, a bourbon and gin bar is always fully stocked and the herbs in the cocktails are grown on site. The overall atmosphere on, the, on any weekend night is busy, you know. We have live music ourselves on a Thursday night. We're showing the horse racing, we've got a big screen, you know, we show the horses on there, or whatever sporting event is coming on. It's a good buzz around the place, everybody enjoys themselves, you know, and it's, it's you know, it's good. Murphy says after guests have enjoyed their meal, they usually want to stick around to take a look at the artwork. He and his partner, Jimmy McSweeney, uncovered the restaurant's collection from the late equine photographer, Tony Leonard. We have maybe 300 and something pictures, but they're all from Tony Leonard. Um, and some of them are really, really unique. Like we have a picture of Secretariat sitting down. There's even pictures from Ireland that he took. A lot of, again, a lot of the horse people come in and you know, people just in general, if not in the horse business, come in and look at them and they're like, wow, that's a unique picture because they're all dated. They're all got a description of when they were taken and who's in the pictures and you know where it was from. Several other new foodie approved spots have started up in Lexington in the past few years. Frank and Dino's is set to open this July. Opened by horse owner, breeder, and trainer, Carlo Vaccareza, the menu is characterized by its authentic Italian cuisine. Greyline Station is Lexington's first public marketplace and has something for any palate, from barbecue and pizza to a wine bar. Italics has been opened for almost a year and serves up Italian cuisine prepared fully in-house with a bit of a Kentucky flair. Jeff Ruby's has quickly become the go-to for a fine dining steakhouse experience in Lexington. The atmosphere pays tribute to the three B's of the city, basketball, bourbon, and breeding. Good thing about Lexington, there's lots of different types of restaurants that you can go to, you know, but everybody has their own thing, their own niche, and our niche is we do traditional Irish food, you know. Watch for more features from our Destination Lexington series in the coming weeks to learn more on must-see locations in Lexington as the countdown continues for the Keeneland September yearling sale.